Hello everyone, welcome back to another casted game. This is the Stolten Descent DLC, and today we've got Vortex on the right in the blue as Yushi's legacy, and on the left we have Jean Joan of Arc. I know some people say John Dark, but she's Joan of Arc. Let's be real, let's be real. I'm an American, I don't pronounce things the correct way, the way other people want me to. Uh, and so we have Vortex here as Yushi's Legacy. This is a great Civ. Uh, one of the best, but over here we have the best Civ, which is Jean Arc. Jean Dark, whatever you want to call her. And this is the best Civ because this is French, except it's got a lot of buffs. It's got a hero unit. She has the ability to consecrate these buildings, making them cost less food. Uh, and she's just really strong overall when you pick the melee route. And so, please nerf this Civ. Now, if anyone's wondering, I don't know if I have actually any people that regularly watch me. But, I have not been uploading the past couple of weeks just because I didn't have a good headset. Uh, my, my one I had broke. I reordered it, or I, had, I ordered it. It didn't or actually arrive. I reordered it. Yada yada. Now, we've actually... This is uh, interesting because we have a 2TC coming out of Vortex. And if there's a Civ I feel you don't want to do this against, it is Jushi's Legacy. Because Jushi's Legacy honestly can probably get a 3TC up before you get a, your 2TC up. Just because they have this Song Dynasty that reduces the wood cost of all eco buildings, or on all non-military buildings, not just eco, like uh, the Abyss now, all non-military by 40%. And it just means that you can just spam TCs, you can spam farms, and once you get to the late game as this sip, oh, it is just over. Meanwhile, when you go for a 2TC, this it's not a very fast 2TC actually, which I think is the correct move, but when you go as 2TC as John Dark, I feel like you have anti-synergy because you just want to get in there, you want to level up your hero. Uh, she just leveled up now, going with the melee route, this is the, just the better one, in my opinion. Uh, going with the melee route, and if you can get her to level 3 while your opponent is stuck in the Feudal Age, then you almost just win the game. Because she gets the ability to summon Mana at Arms. And a lot of people say, oh, it's broken that she gets uh, castle mounted arms and feudal. But these aren't castle mounted arms. These are more like imperial mounted arms because they have more health. They have more damage. They have more damage than an imperial mounted arm. Just overall. And they also have plus seven versus spears. So they four shot feudal age spears. It is just not fun. Uh, it is going to be 2TC out of Vortex as well. He did make a few spears. Uh, how many knights are we at? We're at two knights. Uh, looks like they got a little bit of damage on the spear. They got a little bit of damage. But yeah. Um, I wouldn't really expect two knights to really do much. Not on this map. This map is... It's kind of weird because you kind of want... You kind of like it. Ooh. Big interception. Knights will be forced back. A uh, little bit of damage done. I guess it's kind of worth it to kill the spear because those can heal up. Second TC going down. On the stone, which might mean a third TC, but it also might just mean that, uh... Oh, and she actually came back to help them build it, because she, in, a... in addition to all her other abilities, she has this little construct the kingdom thing, which lets villagers construct faster, because she just needed more buffs, you know? She didn't have, she wasn't really that strong, she wasn't really strong enough, so she needed that. You know how it is. Uh, this TC is coming up, it is gonna be a third TC which like this is how you, this is how you would play French you know you would get you would force your opponent to invest in um, a lot more defenses than you and then you could just go like 2 TC 3 TC and you're making those villages faster so it's not bad for you and then once you get castle you know that's where when you actually get your eco buffs and uh, you actually have arbs and all these great units but uh, Joan doesn't feel like she wants to play that way. Joan feels like she wants to just kill blood pain. Uh, we have a Consecrate here, and it reduces the food cost of buildings by 
one thing about this ability that's good for the TC booming, I guess, is, is it does work on the TCs, so you can reduce it. And it's basically um, like the Abyss in cheaper vills, except you don't have to actually sacrifice a vill to get the tech. Uh, and Joan here, she's gonna look to get her whirlwind off. However, Lord Tech's doing a great job. He micros back. Uh, one thing that uh, one advantage Vortex has is everyone is playing Joan of Arc. So everyone, you need to know how to deal with Joan of Arc in any Civ you're playing. Whereas people who are playing Joan of Arc might not know um, what they're supposed to do against every single Civ. And now here's the production is coming down. He only went for a 2TC versus this 3TC. But um, all three of these TCs are pretty far forward. And these TCs... Um, they aren't defensive as they used to be. They have less range. They can garrison less villas. Uh, as you can see, Joan of Arc is fully fine with just going and killing all those spearmen by herself. She's like, I don't need anyone else. I don't need no man to kill all these spearmen for me. Uh, yeah. So, archery range finally coming down for Joan. Uh, however, we do see... Actually, never mind. She's ahead in the army. Um, but, I mean, this is four knights sent against nine spears, the knights would die. So, army value isn't everything. Uh, but, one thing is, Joan doesn't really get counted as, uh, the army value. Okay, so she did use one on the TC, one on the stable. I believe using it on a stable is a bit better. However, you might not always be producing from the stable. Whereas, you always want to be producing from the TC. Uh, Vortex actually has a slight villager lead here. I'm not sure exactly how that is, considering we have three TCs and the second TC went up sooner. Um, it might be the bug where, like, the Imperial officials count for two eco units in this. I'm not sure if that's still a thing. I know at one point it used to be. And Vortex is just here, he's massing up a big army, and as you can see, there's only one spearman out currently. Or er, one archer, two archers now for Joan versus twelve spearmen, uh, eleven Juganil, and like one. Once you get one single round, that's enough to start taking out these TCs. I wonder where Vortex's scout is. But yeah, Vortex's scout is over here. He knows where everything is. He knows where both these TCs are. Uh, he probably knows that uh, Joan is on the board right now. All right, let's see. So walls going up. Uh, Attila's posturing, and you know you can posture with the knights and the archers. One thing to take note of the Shuganu is they are slightly slower. He did go for range defense first, which is weird. Like normally you always want to go for range attack. He's not even going range attack. I guess he expects his opponent to like have the range defense and once you have that like the extra range attack doesn't actually do anything and he's just getting siege engineering and he's gonna go kill these tcs now I, and i get you can do that like this army can't stop you having these shuganus is actually like really good against joan by the way she has less range armor, and it's you really just want to focus her down at the start so she doesn't get that xp and doesn't get that higher level because once she gets that higher level once she gets that level three it's all over and this is this is kind of the problem with, you know, playing this passive route as Joan, is she has not gotten any XP besides uh, the boars. Uh, she hasn't even killed this uh, bottom boar. I'm not sure if she's killed this top boar either. I assume so. Yeah, yeah, she was killing it at the beginning. But you, there's no reason to not kill this boar unless he didn't scout it, which might be the case. Uh, because Joan's probably now... Joan, at this point, she could be um, at level 3 right now, basically. Uh, and, you know, the three companions she had would just... Like, it couldn't kill this whole army, but it could take a very large portion of it. And if Joan doesn't get level 3, then Jushi's legacy definitely has an advantage here. Uh, let's see. So, range defense did come in. However, there's no... Okay, there is range attack. Uh, I guess he just prior didn't prioritize it because he didn't even fight. That's super cool. Uh, and yeah, he's focusing down the archers. This is the correct move. Um, his 
Spearman uh, being ready. Uh, Joan going in, she's doing her whirlwind, getting huge damage, huge damage, getting a heal off. But there's only these three archers to kill the spears, and that's not enough archers. Those TC's gonna go down pretty fast. We're trying to get a tower up, but that's not gonna work at all. Joan did go down, but she's probably just gonna be bought back as soon as the gold is here. Um, not enough gold tower. It's always worth it to buy back Joan because she is just such a beast. Such a beast. And it's not like... I don't know. It's not like it's super necessary. More bows going down. The Vortex evening up this bill count. Does he know the boar is here? Yeah, he does. He, he knows the bills are here. I'd love to see the Chugunu just stand right here. Uh, they're going over here because the bills are going to run this way. So if you just put your Chugunu right there, then you can kill all these bills. But however, Attila's not reacting. All these bills are going to die anyway. Oh, that's so sad. Like, you co totally could have gotten those out. Um, and now, oh my god, look at that army count. I mean, the army value is around the same, but it's 50 versus 15. It's almost entirely knights here, and there's just so many spears. I don't know, this kind of actually feels wrong. It doesn't feel like you should, the army value should be um, this behind. I think that the rams also are not counting towards it. Uh, but I'm not sure. Did we click on Joan at the start? No, just clicked on some archers, that's fine. Uh, Oh my god, yeah, the Shugunu mass is really big and he's splitting his fire up. He's tried to kill Joan, but Joan backed up. Uh, Joan's coming back in, but she dies immediately. And that's the great thing about having this many ranged units against Joan, is you can just focus her down and kill her. Uh, this second TC is going to be going down. Nothing you can really do against that. Uh, the spear mass is starting to fall apart, however. Uh, this might be the comeback we were looking for. There's no more spears, and it's going to be knights against Shugunu. And you can definitely clean that up. I'd love to see a bill pull now to kill these rams. Uh, you're not really going to get much done. However, these walls, these walls are actually huge. If you put like a gate here, um, then the Chugunu can kite back and forth. However, the Chugunu are actually killing all these archers. A couple archers distracted on the back line. Spears are now coming through. It looks like it's not going to be the cleanup that I thought it would. And yeah, players using these walls, like, we've been seeing so much more walling since the update. Um, a few vills were pulled, but they need to go back. They're gonna die. Yeah, they're all dead. They, I don't think they're even gonna kill this round. Three health left. Oh, I mean, he gets it. But yeah, it's just gonna be a tap out. You lost both your TCs. You lost so many vills. You lost your army, and that is game over. Thank you for watching.